Hello you guys and welcome to another knife review on my newly, I guess you can say newly renovated channel. Um, and today I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a treat. This is the first fixed blade we are ever going to review on this channel. And in my opinion, it is one of the most badass and one of the coolest. Ever. It is really cool. So, we are going to today be reviewing... The K-Bar ZK Warsword. This is an older edition. I actually looked it up online. They have newer editions now. And um, it looks pretty freaking sick. This has been beaten on and worn, as you can see. Really been put some through some abuse. I have chopped down trees with this thing. I'm not kidding. Like, solid freaking trees have gone down with this with this knife. So, I am going to tell you guys a little bit about it tell you the pricing, tell you everything that I can tell you about it from my knowledge, and uh, you can decide whether or not you like it. So, we're going to get started. First of all, the weight of this blade is just under a pound. Incredibly light for the length of it. It is 0 0.95 pounds, really light for the blade itself it's huge <laughs> if you guys are wondering how long it is the blade itself is 9 and 11 16 inches long and overall it is 15 and a quarter inches long um so it's almost 16 inches worth of knife for less than a pound it's just oh it's so beautiful sorry so um next off is the steel type the steel is a 1095 carbon steel i believe they call it crovan 1095 crow van steel is what it's called um so it is a flat grind it came out of the box so flipping sharp not nearly as sharp as it, as it was um with my sharpening but still pretty freaking wicked razor sharp so that's really cool um it is a drop point blade um the handles on it are like a g10 material kind of a thing really nice really grippy it does come with the lime green handles is what it originally comes with okay so this is what it would come with to you just shipped and they include these black handles on it or they include black handles that come with it and they actually have a green paracord like this that comes with it as well but i already used that up so um i switched out one of them and did one and the other i think it's really really cool looking so i went with it so yeah, there's that, there's that, there's that, and there's that. Um, a little bit more about the knife. It is a full tang blade, so as you can see, the knife runs all the way down through the bottom. Not going to break on you any time. Um, the grip on this thing is awesome. I usually do three fingers on the bottom, one finger on the top for the grip that I usually do it. You can go up a little bit further, or you can go down a little bit further for heavier chopping. Um... As you can see right here, it is made in Taiwan. The newer models are not made in Taiwan, from what I saw. It is, from what I saw, it was made in the USA. The difference between this blade and the brand new models that you're going to see is that there is this little metal piece that comes out like that. I don't know the purpose of it, but it's really cool looking, i got to be honest with you. So there's a little metal piece that comes out the bottom like that. It is made in the USA, although I, don't, I can't see too much of a difference. There is, besides this uh, logo on it, the hazard sign logo on it, there is a little USA patent sticker on it right there. So, basically the only difference that I saw between the one that I have, which I bought, I think, two years ago, and the brand new ones. So, that is the knife itself. It is a beast of a knife. Um, really cool. Um, only reason you would ever use this is if you're a camper. It is incredibly 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 good for splitting wood and is incredibly good for chopping <laughs> literally just chopping anything you need to chop so that was the knife i'm actually going to put the knife to the side and tell you about this freaking sheath because this sheath is a beast oh my goodness it is huge there's a lot to it it is absolutely beautiful and it does come with the same sheath that i saw so we're gonna go over it with uh, real quick first of all i have made a few slight little tiny modifications on it. Actually, I shouldn't even say a few. The only one I can think of is one. This did come with two button straps. The other one was up here. It originally comes with two button straps. I decided you really don't need two button straps to see this thing stay in there. It stays in perfectly okay with the bottom button strap. So I used its own knife. 
and cut it off right here. You can see where I get it. So, two button straps originally. On the back is a belt loop that you can use. I apologize, my thumb is actually jammed like a mother trucker right now. You can see the belt loop that you can put it through the belt. Um, it's got stuff in the back that you can actually strap it with lanyard cord to a backpack or even your shoulder or anything like that. So that's super cool. And it does have a Velcro strap on the front. So if you have any Velcro on a backpack or on any piece of clothing, this will go on it. Might not stay. I don't know if it's enough Velcro to keep this thing up, especially if you have other stuff in it. So yeah, that's that, that's that, that's that. Right? Right. So now we're going to go a little bit more into it and show you guys all oh, this hurts. I'm probably going to switch hands, to be honest with you, because my thumb is jammed like there is no tomorrow. So let's get this straight. Woo! Close up. Sorry. All right. So as I undo this, I'm going to show you guys the pocket of this thing. Yes, my entire flipping hand is fitting into the front pocket of this knife. It is ginormous. It fits anything you need. Pretty much anything you need. You can use fire starters in there. You can put a bottle of freaking water in there. Other knives. Uh, sewing kits. All that kind of cool stuff will go inside the pocket. Now, I don't know if I have it in here. Nope, I actually don't. Okay. Oh, that's right. Here, I will show you this. Give me one second. I'm going to pause. So what I was going to show you guys is with this knife, inside of here, you can see the, the flap right here where it actually originally goes. This little knife, skeletal knife, it's called the ZK Acreon, I believe, made in China, super fancy, comes with it. It comes with this big knife. And this is a smaller knife that actually you can get really flippin' sharp. It was, it was dull as crap out of the box, I'll be honest, but you can get it sharp as heck. And this thing is basically used for any smaller tasks, like, you know gutting animals and stuff like that because you're not going to gut an animal with that big honker. So that was really flipping cool that came with the knife in this little secondary attached sheath. Um, on the inside of the sheath it is actually a plastic so it doesn't ruin the sheath because this thing is sharp. So it doesn't ruin the plastic that way. And um, yeah, that is actually pretty much all I have to show you guys. It is, oh, price, haha, -ha. I'm so funny. You guys are probably wondering, this thing is huge and ginormous and awesome and amazing and just Wah! So, what is the price? The new ones that I saw, Amazon.com, $71. $71. Now, that's a half decent amount of money, especially if you're my age and trying to get new knives. $71 is a big chunk in your pocket. For anybody who's a little bit older, that's not a big deal who, you know, has income to spend on this. But, if you want to invest in this kind of a thing, if you want a camping knife that you will bring with you and you will trust and you will never, ever, ever have to worry about, this is it. This is it. This is it. I've had this thing for over two years. I have cut down trees. I have split wood. I have split logs. I have made fires. I have done everything you can possibly do to a knife with this freaking knife. And it is held up absolutely amazingly. So, it is worth it. It was so worth it. Oh, I was so excited when I got this thing out of the box. It was amazing. But, that is it for you guys uh, today. The K-Bar ZK War Sword for you. The first fixed knife we are ever going to see on this channel, and hopefully not the last. Absolutely worth any money that you need to spend into it, but you shouldn't have to spend more than $75. So, that is that, you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you enjoyed my idiot commentary like I always enjoy doing. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much. Love you all. Bye.